Yes, well, mm -hmm. I think uh, we're probably just six or seven at this point, but the good news is that most economies, <laughs> most countries are, this is very new, it's coming on very quickly. Mm -hmm. You know, the web's been around a while, but this idea of artificial intelligence, internet of these things, these new buzzwords that are out there, that's quite new, it's taking business by storm around the world. Mm -hmm. And I think we have an advantage in that we have a very young population that grew up on SMX and testing, t okay, texting yeah. and a very, uh, digitally savvy, so mm -hmm. I think you know we can catch up very quickly. Really, that, that's really really good to hear, yes. especially since a lot of these young people are employed in exactly that sector. Now we've been hearing about this is the scary part: losing jobs to tech, losing jobs to robots, or even non-physical robots. Now I think we could be losing jobs to apps nowadays, yeah. right? Um, how soon can we start feeling the effects of this if we don't act yeah. now? Yeah, so I, I actually think mm -hmm. it's not off in the future. I think it's starting now. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, it's a question of actually transforming the jobs as well, right? So if we take kind of a narrow view mm -hmm. and say certain types of jobs are going to be eliminated because AI is going to be answering calls or assisting with calls, but then other types of jobs are going to be created. The customers of the BPOs are collecting a lot more data. They need help analyzing that data, gaining information out of that data. So there needs to be an upskilling and retraining of the workforce. And there's no reason why we can't do that. So I think okay, it's so from the jobs doing, will change. All right. So from doing, like, say, rank and file and coding stuff, they can now move up the ladder and do some analysis. Correct. Right. So Correct. Uh, it just mat it. But how do we retrain the workforce? Can we use this technology to retrain that workforce as well? Yes. Does it feed yeah. back into the system yeah. that way? Yeah. Can you so tell the us good thing, is, the good news, is that there's already a lot of work being done on that. Mm -hmm. There's. Uh, there's initiatives with uh, CHED, with the uh, universities. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of independent training companies that are offering services that are teaming up with the BPOs. So mm -hmm. I think we know what needs to be done and trained. We just need to make sure that we move fast because this is coming on very quickly. Is it going to be expensive? Uh, well, you know, uh, there's an investment required, but the return, I think, is very, very big because Again, we move up the value chain. Mm -hmm. So now we're offering services that potentially have higher margin than the, the, the lower value services that we offered before. Okay, well, uh, we still cannot deny, although we are a big outsourcing and backroom hub here in the Philippines, that we are still a developing economy. And as such, uh, we are lagging behind in terms of other forms of technology. For example, this perennial problem we have with internet speeds has never been addressed. And I'm sure you've spoken to a lot of BPOs who've run into right. those problems yeah. precisely. And governments, as well, business, as well as businesses can really use these advancements to help uh, make their systems and their operations more efficient. Uh, can, is there a way to like fast forward everything and kind of just skip to the newest thing? Is it possible with this kind of technology? Well, uh, so actually that's a good point yeah. in that we're bringing on new technologies mm -hmm. and not having to replace old ones. Mm -hmm. And oftentimes when organizations transform to something new, uh, the, the, the change is difficult to let go of what you had before, mm -hmm. but when you bring in new technologies, and um, then it's easier and faster to adapt. But like I said, there will be you know, an expense involved, there will be an investment. I wish I had the solution to the slow internet speed <laughs> problem. <laughs> I don't think I necessarily do. However, mm -hmm. having said that, and this is what we'll tackle at the Digital Transformation Summit is, mm -hmm. if there's a really good understanding of the economic value from adopting digital technologies, then maybe it changes the calculus on the return on investment, and the people who need to make those investments will, will speed them up. <laughs> so uh, it seems like what you have to do is to convince a lot of people to take that step into the future. Basically, Correct. that's what you're trying to do yes. right now. Yes. All right, well, yes. good luck to you, Thank and you I hope much. to be one of those converted right. into the future. Thank you, Colin. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me.